So you all know what GPS is. It's found in phones and in ATMs and other stuff like that. And it's what lets you know where you are without having to resort to primitive media like whatever this floppy thing is. <laughs> but you probably don't know how it started. It was actually created by the US military under the name Navstar. And it was actually used for guiding US missiles to whatever targets they wanted to hit. And for a whole load of other military stuff too. Initially, the satellites were only meant for the military when they launched their first satellite in 1978. Although they later opened it up to citizens in 1983, but to a limited range of only 500 meters. But later on, they did decide, yeah, we'll make it more accurate for civilians. So in May of 2000, they made it accurate to a range of 10 meters. And moving forward to the modern day, there are now 32 satellites in orbit, with the amount changing every so often when new satellites go up and other ones stop working and that sort of stuff. If you want to see the exact number now, there's actually a link in the description that shows the exact number of satellites in orbit at this current time. And why there's so many satellites in orbit, you may ask, just for GPS to work? Well, for GPS to work, your phone or other device has to have at least three satellites in line of sight to it with four satellites being optimal for GPS to work fully. And how this basically works is the satellites all have built-in atomic clocks, which are accurate to three billionths of a second. And while that accuracy may not be just for you navigating on the motorway, it is for stuff like the stock market, where the timing has to be very accurate because in a short period of time, millions of pounds is like flying across the sky. But you can't like reach up and grab it. I did try that before. Well, I'm trying it now. But anyway, yeah, these satellites need line of sight to your phone so that they can see your phone and pass data down to it. With them sending down their time as well as their location. And with that information, your phone uses a whole load of maths, rocket science, mathy stuff, like triangulization, while also accounting for the delay for the data traveling from the satellite at the speed of light to your phone. And if you were observant to what I just said with your ears, you probably realized that I didn't mention anything being sent back to the satellite. So yes, while some conspiracy theorists may want to think that GPS satellites are tracking exactly where you're going and all that sort of stuff, no, nothing's actually sent back to the GPS. It's only a one-way thing, stuff's just sent down to your phone. Your phone has to do the complex math for every time that little blue arrow thing on Google Maps moves. And yeah, that's totally why your phone gets hot and drained. Imagine if you had to do complex math for four hours straight while getting somebody shouting at you saying you're not going the right way or you told me to go here when you're totally doing your job and it's just the other person who's ignorant. But just because GPS works, development hasn't stopped on it. Organisations like DARPA are working to use lasers and other stuff like lasers to make it work even better. And just in general, as technology advances for satellites, they've been put into satellites and new ones are being sent up. And it's not just the US that's getting in on the action, some other countries have their own satellite systems too. Russia has the GLANOS system and China has the Beidou system. And then there's the, um, okay, let me take a breath. The European Global Navigation System, <laughs> God, I got it wrong. The European Global Navigation Satellite Systems Agency. And they have the Galileo system. And yep, yeah, that's how GPS works. If you like how I'm doing this series now, be sure to give this video a like and be sure to comment down below. If you like GPS, I don't know, just comment something down below. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.